Yes, it's a horrific crime that has the small southern town of Douglas, Georgia on edge. Who would brutally execute sweet, gentle Doris Worrell? Family and friends are saying Doris's husband, John, and Paula, the immigrant teen who lived with them and became their nanny, had something to do with it. I do not think this was a random act of meanness at all. They were going to replace Doris in the family. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation won't say whether they agree and have not named John and Paula as suspects in the murder. But then, Paula is suddenly taken into custody on an immigration violation. She was eating lunch with some of her friends, and the agents walked in and arrested her and took her away. Reporter Robert Preston says making such a public arrest means it's about more than just an expired visa. Things like that don't happen in a vacuum. That's not how these things are normally carried out. Investigators use the arrest to grill Paula about Doris's murder. The 19-year-old seems to crack. In this letter from the district attorney, a bombshell. Paula tells detectives she knows, quote, more about Doris Worrell's murder than she had previously told investigators. When they try to nail her down on specifics, she suddenly clams up. Did John try and help her with her legal defense? Yes. Yes, the, the world family tried to, to get her a bond. But her bail is roadblocked by the district attorney of Coffee County. He doesn't want her released, and for good reason. In a letter to immigration opposing her bond, the DA claims Paula is withholding crucial information in a murder investigation. And more than that, the DA writes this shocker, John Worrell is the main suspect in the murder of his wife. Uh, I was standing up when I read the documents and I had to sit down. That was the first evidence that I'd seen that law enforcement had looked at both John and Paula. Reporter Robert Preston believes at this point it just can't be proven. They don't have any, any smoking gun, literally or figuratively, to bring the case to a conclusion. And the 19-year-old's defense team argues without a smoking gun, they can't keep Paula locked up, but authorities do run her out of town. Paula was deported, and I believe Paula went back to Venezuela. She ended up in Costa Rica. I felt total relief that she would be gone. I felt like if she got to a point where she was not in control and she was not able to manipulate, and somebody would slip up and say something that would incriminate whomever was responsible. And Doris's sister believes the harsh glare of suspicion became too much for John to handle. He said that half the people in Douglas looked at him with pity. Sure. And the other half looked at him with suspicion. And he said that the kids weren't able to live a normal life. John packed the children up and moved down to Fernandina Beach, Florida. Uh, the family had property down there. While John cools his heels on the Florida shores, things heat up in Douglas. Two arrests for Doris's murder sent shockwaves through John's hometown. Glidden Rodriguez and Brandon Cage were arrested on conspiracy to commit murder charges. Glidden had actually worked for John and Doris for many years, and Doris had invited Glidden to her home and had shared holidays with him and, and meals. I kept thinking, how could this person that Doris was so kind to do this? The implications are as provocative as the arrests. The charge conspiracy to commit murder means they had allegedly discussed plans for a murder, but not that they actually pulled the trigger. It begs the question, if planning Doris's murder, with whom? Investigators thought that they had information uh, related to the murder, and of course, by picking them up, they thought that might, that might get them to speak, get them to talk a little bit, and they never said a word. After nearly five weeks in custody, authorities released Rodriguez and Cage. They felt like there was insufficient evidence to move forward with the case. They never were charged. They did not stay in jail. I, I really don't even know that they were even questioned any further. 
it grinds the investigation to a standstill. But several months later, John Worrell makes another move. John took the family dog, took him to the vet and had him euthanized, then went and withdrew the children from school in the middle of the day and fled to Costa Rica. Coming up, Crime Watch Daily catches up with John Worrell in Costa Rica. And just look who we caught with him.